good morning. It is about 7.30 in the morning and I'm coming out to do chores, feed animals. And one of the most common questions I get about cows is what do you feed your cows? So I'm gonna answer that question today. Hi, Jolly Girl. So this is the first morning that I have not separated calf and mama overnight for milking in the morning. So I'm gonna check her udder. I'm still gonna bring her in to feed her this morning. She needs the calories. Um, she's still producing a bunch. One morning off is not gonna hurt, especially because she's with that little dude who is eating a lot. So um, I'm gonna check her udder, make sure she's not too full and I don't need to milk and I can take the morning off as intended with calf sharing and um, see what she looks like. All right, so first things first is hay. If you don't have enough grass pasture for your cows, you're gonna need to supply some hay. So you can see our fields are starting to green up. This half of this field doesn't have a lot of grass. Um, it's covered with these live oaks that doesn't get a lot of light. And um, we had to cut out a lot when we got here two years ago, almost two years ago. And then last year we cut out quite a bit more and limbed up the oaks that we left to let more light in. And so we are working on getting that grass to grow underneath these trees here. And we're doing that through dropping hay with hay seed and chickens with chicken manure. So we are seeing an improvement. That is nice. And uh, we hope to continue that in the future. So the first thing is grass and hay. ladies here mama so you want to make sure that you always cut off your hay strings or netting if you're using a big round bale before putting hay out for your cows if they eat this stuff it'll get twisted up in their gut and it'll kill them So for right now, while we have Dolly Mama, the Dolly Mama over here, we are just feeding her square bales. Um, we feed bigger round bales to help improve pasture out there. So um, I'm not carrying them out. They're just going right here. We also have Maple right here. We had her over here so that she could be in the stall for a vet check. Okay, so the first thing we use as a base for our cow feed is we use a local mill who uh, mills what they call their ranch mix. It's a 14% protein cattle feed. Um, it's not medicated. It has, um, it does have cracked corn and soybean hulls, cottonseed hulls, um, citrus peels, dried distillers grain, and then it also has some additional, a bunch of uh, minerals, and essential minerals that they need and vitamins and things like molasses and sodium bicarbonate, which is just baking soda, um, helps with their gut health and all of that. So that's our base. And then right now, the only other thing Dolly is getting while she's lactating is alfalfa pellets. Um, if we need, if I see a problem, like they need more protein for production or they need more, uh, Rooster's going crazy. Or we need more carbs for or fat, that kind of thing. We use some other things. We'll use um, peanut meal is something new we added more recently. Um, it's extremely high protein though, um, but it is extra fat and that's been a good thing. We use it pretty sparingly. So if we get a big five, so if we get a big 50 gallon barrel filled with that, um, it lasts us quite a while. It's really like they say not more than 25% of their feed ration, so just a little bit. So here's how Dolly gets fed. There's alfalfa pellets. And here's what that ranch mix looks like. So it's ground up. Some of it is finer than the rest. So cows cannot uh, break down whole grains. So when we feed them things like whole oats and whole corn, it just passes right through their system. They don't get anything out of it. So 
So this is a 1.25 size, a 1.25 quart size scoop, and she's getting about six of these right now with a scoop of alfalfa pellet. I'm gonna wet this down for her, let it soak for a few minutes, and she'll take her time eating it. Okay, we're on the move. I've been letting her feed soak. Ideally, I like to let that feed soak overnight for her morning feeding or during the day for her evening feeding. I also usually add a splash of apple cider vinegar, a raw, like with the mother, Bragg's brand or White House, something like that. Um, but I'm out and that's gotten quite pricey. So instead, I have a batch of kombucha that has gone to vinegar in the house. I just need to get it out here. So I'll start using that probably this evening. Now Dolly knows it's time to eat. She also knows it's time to milk, so I don't know how this is gonna go. She may let down, I hope she doesn't. If she does, I'm gonna have to throw my milker together. Um, but this is all about what we're feeding her, so here's how it goes. So here is that feed. It has soaked up most of that water. And then this is our feeder. You can see that the back side of it is sloped. And that's the bottom. And then I can lock her head in here when she's in with this flip top. She'll have that much space for her head. And this way she wastes less feed. Cows waste a lot of food. You can see the wasted grain on the ground there. That is from her evening feedings. I don't typically lock her head in and she likes to look around. So she drops a lot of feed out of her mouth. You ready? All right, so there she is. Now, like I said, I could lock her in. That looks like this. She can't pull out. Um, we've had to adjust this for different cows, different size cows, um, and we have done that. We've, we've removed this board on this side a couple of times and moved it back and forth, but then we found the best way really to adjust is to add or shift these boards or blocks within here. Um, that's been an easy fix. When she's ready to come out, we just open it up and she knows to back out. <laughs> we got the crazy eyes going on here. What are you doing? What are you doing? You come say hi? Hi, did you come to say hi? Yeah, come here. Come here, baby. So when they're young like this and we're calf sharing, I like to keep a collar on them. I, it's just an extra large dog collar and I like the fabric. Um, neoprene's got a little stretch in it so that if they do get caught up on something, it's got some give to help them get away. Stop chewing on stuff, weirdo. <laughs> what is it? Are you feeling sassy? Are you feeling like a sass pot? Huh? He's a cute boy. Now this here is Maple. Maple is also, or Maple is a Jersey cow. She's a paint colored Jersey cow. She's like a, uh, a mid-sized Jersey cow. And uh, she's a beautiful girl. She gives beautiful milk. Um, she is not getting grain. Our dry dairy cows do not get grain unless they need to hold weight, unless they have a hard time holding weight. Maple has no trouble holding weight. She carries, she's very thick. <laughs> um, she, I thought she might be a little bit over conditioned for a little while there, but um, she saw that this week. He said she looks great. So, um, some things that we can do uh, to add some weight to our girls is add some carbs, uh, a sweet feed, adding molasses. Um, soaked beet pulp is a good one and then we also add what are known as protected fats and those are fats that are able to get through the whole gut of the cow 
to the last chamber of their stomach, their four chamber stomach, so that they are able to absorb the fats. Rice bran oil is my favorite way to do that. Um, in the Amongst the, the big cattle ranchers, they'll use all kinds of things like canola oil and stuff like that. Rice bran is a more natural alternative to that, and um, I've seen great success with it. You could also use rice bran meal, um, which is, is good. The oil seems to work for us. It's a little bit cheaper. It goes a longer way. And we just, we would add like, a, starting with a quarter cup to their feed, a little bit really does go a long way. And then bumping them up to where they're about at a cup of feed per feeding. And um, that's worked well for us in the past. And across the driveway to the other front field, we have two dry jerseys over there. They're in good weight growing. One is growing and they're just on hay. And then we have this little group. We have two mamas and they're two steers. Now the mama that's standing, that's our bell. She has had a little bit of a hard time holding weight, so we are separating those steers off of her. Uh, she's been wormed well, and we just, we're gonna start separating her from the rest of the group twice a day and giving her a little bit of that ranch mix feed and she'll pick right back up, I think. The mama cow laying down, she holds weight with no grain ever. <laughs> it doesn't matter if she's feeding babies or not feeding babies. She just holds weight very, very well. She just has great genetics. She's a good mutt cow much like a red angus but uh she's not a red angus she i don't think she has any angus in her at all actually she just she looks great <laughs>